Hey guys, welcome back. This is the final video of the uh, Infinite Runner project. So let's, um, let's jump right in. So I'm going to be building the room. So as, as I said, we're only going to have one room. I already have it set up to be 640 by 640. Uh, we're going to need several backgrounds um, because I said I, I wanted to introduce parallax into this game. So let's add a couple of backgrounds. Make sure you put them all at the bottom. I want the instances to be at the very top. Um, so I'm going to need four backgrounds. Let's start with this sky. So let's rename this one to sky. Um, for the sky, all I want to do is I want to set a color. So let's set the color. And I think we're going with the, let's go back to here. So sky is kind of going to be like this color here. Let's see if we can match that color. Sure, that might be okay. We can always change these. Uh, the next one, let's rename this. I'm gonna call this mountains. And for this, I'm gonna apply the sprite mountains. Um, I need to stretch it. I want to horizontally tile it. And I believe I wanna stretch it as well, yes I do. Okay, next one we have over here, we'll call this one the uh, forest and assign the forest sprite to it. So sprites um, as forest, just like that. And then we have one more, which is the bushes. So we name this one to bushes. Also, you can rename, rename these to whatever you'd like. Um, it's, I'm, re I'm naming them based on the sprites that I've used. And for this one, I'm gonna assign the bushes. And uh, I made a mistake in all of these, which was I forgot to horizontal tile and stretch. And for forest, horizontal tile and stretch. And mountains, horizontal tile stretch. Good. So I've got them all, all uh, placed. It looks it looks all right. It's not nothing fantastic. Um, as I said, you can always go back and play with play with these colors. Another another cool thing is you can actually change the colors. Um, inside the background. So if I don't like my mountains, I can kind of apply a different color to them. And you can see they changed, they changed their color. I'll leave it white for now. Another option is this is, I forgot to mention this altogether, but you could have drawn all of these sprites completely white. Like you could have tech kept all the textures on them completely white. And then you can use the color setting here to choose what um, you think looks good. That probably would have been a better approach, honestly. Um, I just I just forgot about that completely. Okay. Um, the last thing is, do we want any of these to move? Um, no. So we do want these to move, but we want them to be moved by not the speeds that they have here, but instead we want to move them using the player. So we'll get there in a second. On the instances layer, you want to be adding the platforms. So I'm going to add one platform to start. Let's go near the bottom here. Let's stretch it out. I want to stretch it across the whole screen. Maybe even some more. No, that's good. Um, just because I don't want the player to, you know, still have to jump right away. Player I'm going to put somewhere near the middle, maybe here. Um, I'm not sure if I like his color. I might, I might have to change his color to be um, different. And once again, you can, if I would have made my player white, I should have thought about this before, then I can change this color in the editor by um, choosing a color here. Um, good, so I've got all that. Do I need anything else? I don't, a oh, spawner, I need a spawner. So the spawner, I'm going to be placing four units away. So that's one, this is one, two, three, four. Let's place the spawner right there at that height. So it's going to be spawning objects upwards. Very good. And if I play this, now the game should, if I haven't made any mistakes, yeah, there's some mistakes. So let's find it. Let's, let's fix all these mistakes. So in the spawner, in the create depth event, there's an error. 
Oh, of course there's an error. So this error is inside the um, object spawner in the create event and step event. I'm not actually telling it what to spawn. So I need to put a comma and put the depth and also put the um, what I want to spawn, which is O platform. And there's still an error. So what's the error? Oh, I have an extra bracket here. I don't need that bracket. Yeah, there we go. So the error is gone. I'm just going to take this control copy step event. Highlight all this control V. Um, yeah, it's the same code in both. So I just replaced it. Very good. So let's try again. So what is happening? The platforms are spawning in the wrong direction. I totally forgot. Once again, small error. This is totally fine. When you're coding, a lot of times you tend to make errors. Um, they should be, we should be spawning things above, not below. So we need, we need to be subtracting. Once again, this is because the Y axis in game maker is flipped. So in the instance create depth of the platforms, we need to be subtracting um, instead of adding the I random range value. So let's play again. So it seems to be it's working. I did notice that my backgrounds were not scrolling, so that's the one last thing we need to do. I will do that in the player since we're throwing all this logic into the player. And in the step event of the player at the very bottom of it, I'm going to be adding just a couple lines of code. So one way that you can uh, modify this or you can move uh, layers left and right is, or yeah, layers in the room is you can actually access them through code. So I'm going to go layer underscore eight speed. So this is the horizontal speed of a layer. I do need to get the layer idea. So to get the layer idea, I can use the layer get ID function. I need to pass in the names of the layers. So mountains is the first one. Um, and then what's the next thing? So I need to set passed in the speed. So I want to want the mountains to move to the left so negative number is left 0 0.1 is a very small number i think that's fine for starting speed and then i want to of course take this and multiply it by global dot game speed i want to be multiplying all these values by game speed um let's take this i'm just going to highlight Control c to copy it and then paste two more lines of it because we have mountains forest and bushes so for the forest I'm going to set this forest horizontal speed to be negative two. And then for the bushes, I'm going to set the speed to be negative three, even closer, 3.5. And um, I don't know if any of you noticed, but what, what was the original speed of the platforms? The platforms moved at a speed of negative four by default. Um, and you can see the bushes are the objects that are closest or the background is closest to you. So the bushes speed will almost match the player speed or the platform speed in this case. And that's why it's negative 0 point or 3.5, which is just a bit tad slower than negative four. And as you move further and further away, like for example, mountains are way back there. Um, their speed is much, much substantially smaller than your speed. And the forest, which is kind of like in between is running at half speed. So let's try one more time. The only thing I do with the skin is maybe fine tune the colors, but otherwise it looks perfect. Um, you can you can also add some more things. You could in the spawner you could make it spawn some coins, um, and if you pick up those coins, you know you get more points. And um, 
yeah, you could maybe even add some obstacles, like some bad guys, some maybe birds or something you have to dodge that are coming at you. So these can all be added into the uh, spawner object. But other than that, I think the game's prototype is done. From here, it's up to you guys to decide what you want to add. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this project. Hope it didn't take too long to build. And um, hope it inspired you to do some more game design. Thank you for watching.